And we're live, everyone. This is Amish Gamer, and then we're returning to Civ 5 Ox Populi. And the new version has came out, the August 5th one. Yeah, it's pretty crazy when you think about it, because the last one was the July 29th. But there has been some discussion forum, and so some changes have been implemented. And the goal of this is to talk about those changes. So, uh, first... Some buildings and wonders experience some changes. So, what happened was before these buildings and wonders, their yields scale with the era. So, for example, if you remember before the Oracle, you get um, originally it was 500 culture and 500 science dealing with era. But that means in in classical era, you would get a thousand culture and a thousand science, I think. But if you can wait until medieval and then build it, you get 1500 culture and science, which is a lot. So now, this basically just gives you 400 culture and science. That's it. It doesn't matter what era you build it in. And in addition to that, there's also the circus. Circus before... The culture also scales with era. Now, now it just gives this flat yield 150 culture. And there's also zoo and stadium. So you get zoo. Before, you get 400 tourism scaling. And generally, I build it in modern era to maximize the amount of tourism I can get. But now you can't abuse it. And the other one is Stadium, which is Golden Age points. Now it's just a thousand Golden Age points when completed. And the National Wonder, the Oxford University. Uh, this was changed because... Did this not change? I'm a little confused. I'm a little confused about this because the change is supposed to be 25 culture per text. So either the text didn't update or I don't know what. But yeah, this should be 25 culture every time you research a technology. Because before I was giving a bit too much. Uh, it's a lot of culture. In the forums, there was mention of how if, if, say, you research everything at the top, get to education, get your university, get your Oxford University, then you start uh, researching bras working. Because it doesn't care what tech, right? It's just culture per tech. So that you have some of these cheap one, cheap technology like bronze working, masonry, iron working. You get all of those. You get quite a bit of culture to the point where it's kind of broken. That's why this change was made and that's the first thing like buildings and wonders that got changed slightly then we have policies which i don't fully agree with but i'll discuss that a bit later so first for for tradition you get two happiness in the capital i don't know why i don't feel like it's necessary because honestly, going tall is already benefits quite a bit from happiness. But happiness is going through changes, so I don't know. Maybe it's needed. And then for progress, you have expertise. Instead of 15 culture, scaling with error, and there's 10 again. Which I really don't agree with. And also equality. Now it's plus one happiness in city for every 10 citizens. Which I also don't agree with. But I'll talk about that a bit later. Now authority got the biggest buffs because you have Imperium instead of 30 science and culture scaling with era where you found the conqueror cities and you get 40 so that's pretty powerful and then tribute before it was 25 now it's 30 so overall authority got a pretty big boost I don't know if that's necessary I I never felt authority was really weak. 
And now the happiness might not have been helpful, but that's because we're... I mean, okay, the developers are... The modders are tinkering with the numbers for that. And now... So starting capital happiness is now changed so that for different uh, difficulty you get more for easier you get two from easier and one from harder so for harder happiness should be a bit tougher to deal with I mean that AI I don't think cares so yeah and then next for sieves we have Venice Web Venice, whoops, I didn't mean to click that. Totally not my intention. So for Venice, now Merchant of Venice have four movements instead of two so that they can move around faster because otherwise they take a long time to get to their destination. And sometimes if your city states are kind of far away, it, it takes a while. So the extra movement should help. It's a nice improvement. And Ethiopia got plus one faith on strategics again. I don't know why. I hope this gets changed back because Ethiopia doesn't need more faith. I'm serious. Ethiopia doesn't need more faith. Like, the steel is already nerfed. He doesn't need plus one faith from strategic resources. We already agreed that it's just extra fluff that's not even necessary. But, I don't know. Maybe it's here to stay. And there's also talk about India. Now, India is very interesting. I don't play India much, so I never really get a chance to really see the power of Nagamala, but apparently it's really powerful. Before you could, I mean, now I switch. I think before you access it in chemistry, so you could beeline for it. And it had 35 range combat strength and 28. Uh, and 30 combat strength. So, before it was quite powerful. And if you get a bunch of these, you could easily mow down the enemy defenses. So, yeah, that's why it's nerfed. It's also moved to gunpowder, which requires two prerequisite techs in medieval as opposed to one, which is required for chemistry. So, yeah, I've never played India that much so I don't know I don't even remember the last time I played India it's been so long now um yeah for happiness it's changed again before it was three happiness per res uh, luxury now it's plus two but there's also a scalar wh which is plus one happiness per luxury per every five cities before it was four okay so before you get four cities, you get one happiness, one extra happiness for each luxury. So that's for wider empires. Okay, makes sense. But as you can see, this is every five cities instead of four cities. Let's keep going before I talk about why I don't like the progress changes. Progress policy tree changes. So now for our happiness, faith and gold purchases affected by local happiness. So I guess if you're more unhappy, their cost will be more. All right, makes sense. So I guess for humans, they could better abuse their happiness. Like, for example, not work a specialist to be happier to get cheaper costs. I don't think the AI knows that. And seller costs also affected by local unhappiness, which... Okay. I mean, there's more to uh, Settler that I'll talk about in a bit. And also now the metrics has changed. So everything above 50% is stable and normal. And then you have 35 to 49% is unhappy. 20 to 34% very unhappy. And 0 to 90% is super unhappy. So... So basically you have more room to work with. Before it was like 75% to 100%. Which isn't a lot a lot of room to work with. So I do like this. But we'll see. I'm not sure. Until I test it I'm not sure how this is. 
And Empire modifier now 10% was 5%. So larger empires are going to hurt a bit more. See, that's the thing. I, I feel like some of these changes are kind of go a, a step too far instead of making small tweaks. Because you have the luxury that's providing less happiness. So 2 instead of 3. And you have the scaler that requires five cities instead of four. So overall, I, I'm worried this might go overboard and needs more tweaks. I feel like the changes are in the right direction, but some of them are taking a step too far, which is annoying. Let's just put it that way. And then we have tech-based modifier, 150% instead of 100%. Pop modifier now minus 100%. So does that mean that taller empires will have e even easier happiness? Huh. And then the modifiers for the different needs also change. Boredom 20, illiteracy 40, poverty 60, distress 80. So the idea is that uh, there should be greater variety because like what it says in the log notes, citizens are less sensitive to yield differences for distress than boredom on that spectrum. But the idea is that you should basically get a bit of each as opposed to all distress or mostly distress and sub poverty. If that's the case, that's actually fine. That makes it easier to balance certain things. And did I just skip the thing? How did I... Wait, what? I know I saw it before. Uh, there's changes to sellers. Oh, okay, I see. I just missed the entire section. So, now Amarils only have one charge instead of two charges when it comes to repairing fleet. And also, uh, yeah, seller got changed. So, right now, seller requires a minimum city size of four before they can be built. And apparently they also use up a population. So if you have four population, you build a cellar, you lose one population. And cellar production cost scales a bit more and also scales based on the number of cities you have. So, so if you have more cities, it means your cellars are more expensive. This is why I really don't like the changes to progress because the problem with progress in the previous was that it was too easy to expand and happiness doesn't punish you so right now you have the happiness be more punishing for wider empire 